Unit 8, Division. Division is all about sharing into equal parts. The symbol for division is this. N is read as divided by. Now, let me give you a simple example. Suppose you have three friends and you also have six apples. How will you share them equally among three of your friends? Yes. How many apples each of your friends get? Each of your friend will get two apples each. In this case, we can write six divided by three is equal to two. Now, we can also conclude it like this. Six divided by three. Three, how many times is equal to six? Three, two times is equal to six. Six minus six, zero. Now, in division term, two, the result we get after dividing is called the quotient. The number to be divided is called dividend. And the number that divides another number is called divisor. And the remaining number is called the remainder. Now, let's learn division as repeated subtraction on page number 76. Question number 3. Divide using repeated subtraction and find the quotient. Question number 1. 18 divided by 3. Here, first you subtract. First, we will subtract 3 from 18. Take away 3 from 18. 18 minus 3 is equal to 8 minus 3 is 5. Now bring down 1. Now the next step, bring 15 up. 15 again subtract by the same number that is 3. 15 minus 3 is equal to 12. Bring up 12 again and minus 3. 12 minus 3 is equal to 9. Again take up 9 minus 3. 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. And repeat the same process. 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. Now finally 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. So therefore 18 divided by 3 is equal to the question would be how many times did we subtract 3 from 18? Now let's count together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So the answer is 6. Now let's learn dividing by one digit number. On page number 79, 56 divided by 4. 4 one time is equal to 4. Start dividing from left. 5 minus 4 is 1. Now 1 is smaller than the divisor, that is 4. So we cannot divide 1 by 4. So what we'll have to do, we will bring down 6. So the number becomes 16. Now 4 how many times is equal to 16? Yes, 4, 4 times is equal to 16. Now 16 minus 16 is equal to 0. So the quotient is equal to 14. This is our answer. Now let's learn division with remainders on page number 84. Question number 1. Find the quotient and the remainder. 9 divided by 2. Here, 
9 is not a multiple of 2. In other words, 9 is not exactly divisible by 2. So, what is the nearest number that is divisible by 2? It is 8. So, 2 4 times is equal to 8. 2 fourths are 8. Now, minus 9 minus 8 is equal to 1. So, here 4 is the quotient and we have 1 as remainder. So, we will write remainder is equal to 1. Now, let's learn some problem solving on page number 88. Question number 1. A mini cinema theater can accommodate 216 viewers. The seats are divided equally in 9 rows. How many seats are there in each row? Here, we will start the solution like this. Total number of viewers is equal to 260. Now it says the seats are divided equally in 9 rows. So we will write number of rows is equal to 9. Now the question is, how many seats are there in each row? So we will write, therefore, number of seats in each row is equal to 216 divided by 9. So you can draw a calculating column on the right side and calculate the answer here. 216 divided by 9. So always start dividing from the left. So take the first digit number. The first digit number we have 2. 2 is smaller than 9. So we cannot divide 2 by 9. So take the next number together. Now the number becomes 21. So, 21 is not exactly divisible by 9. So, what is the next number that is exactly divisible by 9? Yes, it is 18. 9 twos are 18. 9 twos are 18. Because 9 threes are 27. And 27 is bigger than 21. So, subtract 21 minus 18 would be 3. Now, 3 is smaller than 9. So bring down the next number that is 6. Now 9 4 times is equal to 36. Now 36 minus 36, 0. Therefore, we have 24. We write 6. So this is our answer. Now let's try one more question. That is question number 6. The cost of 6 pens is rupees 210. What is the cost of each pen? So here we will write again solution question number 6. Write down cost of 6 pens is equal to rupees 210. Now, the question is, what is the cost of each pen? So, write, therefore, cost of each pen means one pen. One pen is equal to, write down, 210 divided by 6. The answer, we will calculate the answer in the calculating column, 210 divided by 6. Now, the same process, 2 is not divisible by 6 because 2 is smaller than 6. 
So take the next number together and we have 21. 21 is also not exactly divisible by 6. So check the next number, next smaller number, which is exactly divisible by 6. So 6 trees are 18. Because 6 4 times will be 24. And 24 is bigger than 21. So 21 minus 18, we have 3. Now 3 is smaller than 6. So bring down the next number that is 0. Now 6 5s are 30. 30 is exactly divisible by 6. So 30 minus 6 we have 0. So the answer is rupees 35. That's all for today. Keep practicing and I'll see you soon in the next video.